Hello, my name is Omar Johnson. I'm the Senior Vice President of Marketing for Beats by Dr. Dre. It was just a little bit uncomfortable. We worked so hard as marketers, as a team, to build the brand of Beats, and we care so much about it and what it means. It's a bit counterintuitive to think about taking your brand off of your product. But um, again, the more we thought about it, the more we felt like it was a really bold, brave move, and we said, let's go for it. I got a really uncomfortable feeling in my stomach. It's that same feeling you get when an idea is really, really bad or brilliant. And I think the more and more like we thought about it, it was like, wow, this could be really interesting. And as we went through that thought process, it felt better and better. And I don't think we ever sort of doubted it, but you know, we realized it was a brilliant idea. And we said, let's do it, let's pull the trigger. So Beats cares about three things. Sound, innovation, design. And the company initially focused on design as a huge component to get kids into spending that much money on a pair of headphones. Um, when you look at our price points, we're well above 200 pounds. So for us, design and aesthetic became a really important way to let kids know that there was something different in these headphones. When you think about the category before Beats, the product looked like dental equipment. Um, you know, a lot of headphones that weren't really pretty, there wasn't a design aesthetic. So for us, design was really, really important and a really important factor in you know, our product and how we elevated our product to where our product is. So as much as you know, it's great to be considered an icon, um, we just knew we had to make the product sexy and we had to make it attractive because kids were going to be living with this product every day. We stand for something that's really close to people and that's how they experience their music. And we want fans to feel like they're sitting right next to the artist in the studio. We want them to feel the emotion that the artist intended them to feel as they made that song. So yes, it was a brave move, but I don't think we know any other way as a company. Yes, yes, and yes. Um, when a brand like Selfridges, with its heritage, with its legacy, asks a young brand like Beats to you know, be in an idea or participate in a platform like this, it's the ultimate compliment to the design aesthetic and the efforts that our company has made in this space. So yes, we feel really, really proud that Selfridge just chose Beats as one of their exclusive partners. When you think about the design, your design is what attracts someone over to your product. It's, what, it's where that person first forms that emotional connection. It's how that person walks over to your product and chooses the product. So design is really what gets them over. Our product is very simple. Our product is sound. Our product is premium sound from the artist's point of view, from the studio, with the emotion that was intended in that studio by that artist. That's our product. When you think of a brand, a brand is a bit more complex, right? But the brand, in my eyes, the brand is a signal. And it's the signal that signifies to every person who buys a pair of Beats that Jimmy Iovine's years in the studio with people like John Lennon, Bono, U2, Lady Gaga, plus Dr. Dre and the iconic work that he's done is all sort of exemplified in that product. It's almost like blood, it's our signature. It's us saying that we promise to you that this product is something that we're proud of and represents all of our years of experience in the studio, making music, producing music, engineering music, and ultimately sort of enjoying and consuming music.